The different types of nozzles for a gas turbine engine are convergent, divergent, convergent, divergent, and variable area. So we'll begin with the convergent type nozzle. And with a convergent type nozzle, we have subsonic flow coming into the nozzle. And with subsonic flow, as the cross sectional area reduces, the velocity increases and the pressure decreases. So as the air passes through the convergent nozzle, the velocity uh, increases and we get a large jet velocity out the back of the engine. And that's in our interest because the thrust of the engine is the mass times the difference between the jet velocity and the aircraft velocity. So if the jet velocity is high, uh, we'll, get a, we'll get a greater thrust. So most um, aircraft, uh, commercial aircraft anyway, if not all, uh, will have a convergent type uh, nozzle. So here's an example uh, of an engine, and this is uh, the exhaust nozzle area, and we can see that it is a convergent type. Now, for divergent nozzles, um, if we examine a, a helicopter, so take this uh, gazelle helicopter. So the way a helicopter creates lift is as the rotor blades rotate, it takes air in from above and it accelerates it uh, down below. If we had a convergent type nozzle, the air would come out of the exhaust here and it would impact on the air coming down through the blades. It would also create some thrust due to this uh, airflow and it would make it more difficult to maintain the helicopter in a hover uh, position. Okay, so there's the air coming out. It offsets the air coming through the through the rotor blades. That's going to affect the amount of lift, and this um, jet velocity will create some thrust, and it making it more difficult for the pilot to to hover the aircraft. Now, you know the amount of thrust produced in here is 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 very small. Um, so it only is an issue when we're trying to to hover but it it doesn't have a big contribution to the aircraft when it is flying in uh, in the cruise so by using a divergent type nozzle it reduces the the airflow out here and makes the airflow through the rotors um uh, more inclined to what they're used to, increasing the efficiency of the rotor, and it makes it easier for the aircraft to be controlled in, in the hover. So by reducing that velocity out the back, we would use a divergent type nozzle. Just to go back. So we want to reduce the velocity from there to there, and we can do that with a divergent type nozzle. So if we have an aircraft that's flying along and the aircraft, um, sorry, and the airflow here coming into the nozzle is, is subsonic. And let's just say it increases velocity and at some stage it goes supersonic. So when it becomes supersonic, we now have compressed flow and the velocity of the gases will increase if we convert our nozzle to a divergent section. So we'd have subsonic flow here, and it'll be supersonic in this diverging section. So we can do that then with a convergent divergent section. So with this convergent type, convergent divergent type uh, nozzle, we have subsonic airflow coming into the into the nozzle its velocity increases at some point here at the throat of the nozzle it'll go supersonic once the air goes supersonic then we want a diverging nozzle to increase the velocity uh, further 
So for a supersonic aircraft, we could use a convergent divergent type nozzle. But the obvious question is, um, well, what happens when the supersonic aircraft is at subsonic phases of flight? So if we take this aircraft, for example, you know, for takeoff and climb, the aircraft might be subsonic. In the cruise, it would be supersonic. And then for descent and landing, it will be back to subsonic again. So what type of nozzle would we want? Well, for subsonic, we want a convergent nozzle. And for supersonic, we'd want a convergent divergent nozzle. So we can achieve that by using a variable uh, area nozzle. So with a variable area nozzle, we would have a convergent nozzle for subsonic flight and a convergent divergent for supersonic flight. So at takeoff, we'd be at subsonic. In the cruise, we'd be supersonic. And on descent and landing, we'd be back to subsonic again. And uh, this can all, all be controlled uh, by the FADEC. So that's our different uh, nozzle types. We have convergent, which is normally used and would be used on all commercial aircraft. Divergent, you may see on the likes of helicopters. Convergent, divergent, supersonic aircraft. And variable area, supersonic aircraft that spend some time um, in subsonic region also.